mirror, mirror on the wall. Who is the fairest of them all? What is this story about? What is the basic, basic, basic thing behind it? And ultimately the answer I came up with was that it's a story about fear of change. It's about two females in transition. Snow White is in the process of growing up and becoming a woman, and she's afraid of it. And the queen is in the process of growing older, and she's afraid of it. So you take two people at those very important moments in their lives, and you see what happens. I'm, I'm the best. You're dead. A carcass on the forest floor. Food for wolves. I'm the first. You hear me? Dad. I'm the first. I'm the first. I think this is much more in keeping with the original uh, written story in its darkness, you know, but um, there will be frightening elements, as there always are. As I always say, if you want anything done right, do it yourself. Cut! I could never have imagined a greater actress than Miranda Richardson to play the part of Elspeth. She has done nothing but surprise me every single day. Things that I heard loud in my head, she'll play really quietly. And things that I heard quiet in my head, she'll do bigger. And, um, but you know, not in every case, but I mean, it's just, she, it's fascinating and been really a, a blast to work with her. Uh, how can I? Do it. Do it. Don't make me. No. Ah! been cruel. It's some kind of terrible trick. It's no trick. And there's a tradition in medieval literature of what's called the genius of the piece. The word genie comes from the same derivation. It's, it's the sort of, it's the motivating factor. Look at you. If it's true, if it's really true, how can I ever thank you? There's no need. Just be happy. You know, he really is is a genuinely moral being. He tries to set a story in motion that's a good story. And, and people don't always do good things when good things are given to them. And so it kind of made more um, vivid what Elspeth did with the gift she was given. Cursed from the start, a chance at a new life, which she grabs, and then does not deal with it in the way that she should. The most challenging um, and the, the bit I'm most pleased with uh, certainly was the throne room. I knew that when she had Durham Cathedral in mind uh, with our little budgets and our stages with low ceilings that it was going to take some real trickery to deliver something that had the same kind of emotional presence and the same sort of spatial presence. And we kept working with the, the sort of combinations of design styles to sort of blend into it to make something that was our own and that had some grandeur but that sort of was building not an inch further than the blocking of the scenes required. The sort of catchphrase that we ended up sticking with was that our style was Viking Art Nouveau.